What up my awesome internet people? How's it going? So if you want to bring back some nostalgia, I'm going to show you how you can play Team Fortress Classic on your Android device. Now this is all possible thanks to an app called SDL 3 d which pretty much makes use of the SDL library. Now to do this, all you need to have is original Team Fortress Classic game as well as a Half-Life game. And that's pretty much it, so let's get to it. Okay, so to do this is very easy. First, what we want to do is go into your internal storage on your Android device and create a folder called Xash. So right here, I have my folder called Xash. Just create that folder on your internal storage. Now, within that folder, what you need to do is transfer the Team Fortress Classic folder and the Valve folder. So I'm going to go over here to my Steam folder. And within Half-Life, I have the TFC folder and the Valve folder. So what you want to do is transfer both of those to your internal storage in the Xash folder. Finally, once you transfer those, what we need to do is go and download that extra zip in the description. And within the extra zip, extract it, and you should see two files. You should see the val folder, and you see the game controller db text file. What you need to do is go to the val folder on your phone, and simply copy, let's do this, and paste both of those items inside the val folder. And that's it. Now you're good to go to play this on your Android device. All right, guys. So now what you need to do is download and install the Half-Life app. I'll provide a link in the description below. So within the app, what you need to do is type in dash game TFC in the command line arguments to launch Team Fortress Classic. So once you type that in, go to launch. Now once you launch it, you'll be presented with this loader screen. So on some devices, such as the Galaxy S6, this might actually freeze on you. So if it does, just go hit the multitask button and go back to it and then you're good. Now, one thing is you can't actually play multiplayer online with this game, but you can play multiplayer LAN in this game, which is pretty awesome. So if you have another device on the same Wi-Fi network with this app installed, you can play LAN with it. So that's pretty cool. So right now I actually have the Enfocus 2 over here running with the game installed. So I'm just going to join the same LAN that I have the Team Fortress Classic running on Enfocus 2. Let's go land game. It's going to detect it automatically. Join game. And here we are in Team Fortress Classic. And there's where I have the other, my the Enfocus connected with the game installed right there. And yeah, so let's just do some killing real quickly. Oh. So many shots. So yeah, I mean, this is Team Fortress Classic. Very interesting. Um, like everyone else on this planet, I've played Team Fortress 2, but I've never played Team Fortress Classic. So this is definitely a very interesting flashback, to say the least. As far as performance, it's all right. I mean, the game itself is actually not laggy. I would say more of the fact that I'm doing this over Wi-Fi with the other device creates a bit of lag in there that you can see. But what's odd is I don't really see this lag on the end focus, only on the S6. Um, so I'm wondering if it's because the end focus is hosting the game or whether or not it's just this phone. I don't know. But in any case, it's definitely very playable. So one unfortunate thing is that you only have access to the Half-Life pistol in this game and not any of the other Team Fortress weapons. So that's, like I said, another unfortunate um, thing. So only pistol battles with this. So guys, this has been a quick look at how to play Team Fortress Classic on Android. Like I said, definitely give it a try. All you need to have is just the Team Fortress Classic game and access to Half-Life. And that's pretty much it. So if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.